solving problems involving parallel lines cut by a transversal. Let us recall the properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. The first one, we have corresponding angles are congruent. For example, 1 and 5, they are corresponding, so they are congruent. Another, we have alternate exterior angles are congruent. In the figure, alternate exterior are 1 and 7 and 2 and 8. And then, third, alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles we have here are 3 and 5 and then 4 and 6. Fourth one, vertical angles are congruent. For example, 1 and 3, they are vertical angles, so they have the same measurement. And the last one, we have same side interior or exterior angles are supplementary. So in the figure, same side interior are 3 and 6 and 4 and 5. And for the exterior, we have 2 and 7 and 1 and 8. If you will add the measurement of angle 3 and angle 6, their sum must be equal to 180 because they are supplementary. Let's start with our first example. Given that angle A is equal to 4x minus 20 and angle E is equal to 3x plus 15, let's see where are angle A and E in the figure. So we have here 4x minus 20 and 3x plus 15 for angle E. Now, to solve for the value of x, we need to identify first what is the relationship of angle A and angle E. If, for example, they are corresponding or alternate or vertical, it means they must be congruent. So to solve for that, what we're going to do is to equate them like this. 4x minus 20 equals 3x plus 15 if they are congruent. But if they are not, the only other option we have is supplementary. So if they are not congruent, it means they are supplementary. So for supplementary, what you have to do is to add these two angles, 4x minus 20, and then plus, we will add addition sign, followed by 3x plus 15, and equate them to 180 since they are supplementary. Now, let's see. What is the relationship between angle A and angle E? Are they corresponding, alternate, vertical, or same side angles? So here is A, and then E is over here. They are actually corresponding angles. So therefore, angle A and angle E are congruent. So to solve for X, what we have to do is to add equal sign in between them. It will become 4X minus 20 equals okay 3x plus 15 since angle a and angle e are congruent we equate them so 4x minus 20 and then 3x plus 15 now let's solve for x by combining like terms so this 3x must be transposed to the other side so we can combine it with 4x and then this negative 20 on the other side to combine it with 15 so we'll have 4x and then 3x will be transposed since it's positive it will become negative on the other side so we have negative 3x equals 15 we just copied 15 then transpose negative 20 it's negative therefore when you transpose it it will become positive so we have positive 20 on the other side then combine 4x minus 3x you will have x and then 15 plus 20, you will have 35. So the value of x is equal to 35. But what if the question is like this? What is the measure of angle A and angle E? Since we already know the value of x, we can now solve for angle A using 4x minus 20. And to solve for that, we will just apply substitution. So for angle A, we have 4x minus 20. 4 and then for x, we will not write x anymore. Instead, we will use the value that we have solved. So it will become times 35. 4x became 4 times 35, followed by minus 20. Then solve. 4 times 35, you will have an answer of 140. Then minus 20, it will become 120 
degrees. So this is the measurement of angle A. And since angle A and angle E are congruent, measure of angle E will also be equal to 120 degrees. Let's try another example. Here we have angle B, which is equal to 5x minus 24, and angle H, which is equal to 3x plus 16. In the figure, angle B is here and then angle H is here. What is their relationship? They are alternate exterior angles. So alternate exterior angles are also congruent. So we just have to add equal sign in between angle B and angle H. Let's start. So for angle B, we have 5x minus 24 equals, for angle H, we have 3x plus 16. So combine like terms. Let us transpose this 3x to the other side. So you'll have 5x and then 3x will become negative equals. So we have 16 on the other side. Then transpose negative 4. So since it's negative, when you transpose, it will become positive 24. Then let's solve. For 5x minus 3, you will have an answer of 2x. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then just copy the variable x. And for 16 plus 24, the answer will be 40. Okay. Then to solve for x, just divide both sides by 2 to cancel, to cancel. Now, we only have x is equal to 40 divided by 2, you'll have 20. So, the value of x is equal to 20. Same way, for you to solve angle B, just have to use 5x minus 24 and change x with 20. So, let us try. So, angle B is equal to 5x. We'll have 5 times x. x will become 20. Followed by minus 24. So 5 times 20, you will have 100 minus 24. And the answer, therefore, will be 76 degrees. That is the measurement of angle B. And it means that angle H is also equal to 76 degrees since they are congruent. Next, let's try another example wherein angle C is equal to 3x minus 34 and angle F is equal to x plus 22. So here they are, angle C and angle F. If you will look at these two angles, they are actually same side interior angles. So same side interior angles are supplementary. So they are not congruent. Instead, they are supplementary. So how are we going to solve for that? First, copy angle C, which is 3x minus 34, then add it, add plus sign, add it to angle F. So angle F is equal to x plus 22. Then equate them to 180 because they are supplementary. Supplementary is equal to 180. Then you may now solve for x by combining like terms. So here, 3x and positive x can be combined. So we can add them. 3x plus x, you will have 4x. Then after that, we can also combine negative 34 and positive 22. Since they have different sign, it means you need to subtract and copy the sign from the larger number, which is 34. So 34 is negative, therefore your answer will also be negative. And 34 minus 22, you will get 12. Okay. Then continue. Copy 180 degrees. Then, since we are solving for x, you need to transpose this negative 12 to the other side. Copy 4x. Then negative 12, when you transpose, of course, it will become positive. So we'll have 180 plus 12. Copy 4x and then 180 plus 12, simple addition, you will have 192. And to solve for x, just divide both sides by 4, divide by 4, cancel, x will be equal to 192 divided by 4. And that is equal to 48. So the value of x is equal to 48. Let us try the fourth example. Here we have angle A 
which is equal to 5x minus 1, and angle H, and it is equal to 13x plus 1. So in the figure, angle A and angle H are here. Observe what are their relationship. They are same side exterior angles. Both are in the exterior and on the left side. That's why they are same side exterior. So therefore, they are supplementary. So if they are supplementary, we just have to add them. Angle A, that is 5x minus 1. Then plus, so we have to add them, plus the next one is angle H, which is equal to 13x plus 1. Okay, then equate them to 180 since they are supplementary. Then combine like terms. 5x can be combined with positive 13x. So 5x plus 13, you will have 18x. And then negative 1 and positive 1, actually 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So you may just cancel out 1 and negative 1. Then copy 180 equals 180 degrees. Okay, now solve for x. To solve for x, just divide both sides by 18 to cancel. Cancel 18. Then 180 divided by 18, you'll have x is equal to 10. So the value of x is 10. Now, if ever we need to find the measurement of angle A, we just need to substitute. So 5x minus 1. 5x will become 5 times 10. We just substitute the value of x minus 1. So 5 times 10, you will have 50 minus 1. And 50 minus 1 is equal to 49. So that is the measurement of angle A. And since angle A and angle H are supplementary, then angle H will just be 180 minus the measurement of angle A, which is 49. And it will be equal to 131 degrees.